Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this short video lesson, I wanted to talk about what we could do as game developers or as a developer in general to back up our code and have it in a safe place. So I'm going to be using GitHub, and the reason I'm choosing GitHub is just because I'm a longtime user and I paid for it in the past, so I just continue to give them my money, and they seem to be to me i haven't had any problems um, if you're not familiar with what github or repository is what it allows us to do is give say this company github.com give them a whole bunch of our code and they will safely back it up hang on to it make it private whatever you need it to be until we actually have to call it down to our machine so you don't have to have a flash drive with all of your code on it or use Dropbox to have your code on it. You could connect to GitHub and pull in your game and then just work on it from there. So an example is I have this um, documentation that I started working on. Not sure if I'm gonna do anything with it, but I've just been basically taking some of the documentation and I've been putting it out into Markdown and kind of giving it some, um, some much needed love that I thought the documentation needed. So this is just an example of, of a repository. You can see that I committed something 16 days ago. I've done 12 commits and I have a whole bunch of stuff here. So we are gonna be using GitHub Desktop, which is also free. And I should also mention that GitHub is free. Yes, I paid for it, but there is a free plan and it covers everything that we're gonna cover here. And you can also make your code private. If you don't uh, like GitHub for some reason, you can also check out Bitbucket and also there's GitLab and there's probably some other ones out there. Now getting back into it, we're gonna be using GitHub Desktop here and we're going to, this is all open source and all free. So we're gonna use this to create a small little game and then revert some code so we can just kind of work through the process here. So with that underway, let's just roll the quick intro and let's get right to it. Okay, so I have loaded up my GitHub desktop and in the background I have Game Maker Studio. The first time you go in, yours might look a little bit different. I'm using the dark version, which I believe is in options and then appearance. You can choose light or dark. Um, for some reason I just like the dark version. Okay, so I already have a repository open. We are going to create a new repository. And remember, this is just going to hold on to our code. It's going to hold on to all our changes and everything like that. So I'm going to say add and create new repository and I'm holding down the D key. Um, okay, let's try that again. So in here, because this is all hooked up into GitHub, I don't really have to do any messing around. So that's the nice benefit of using this. So let's create a new repository and let's just call this a uh, drink game. So I'm just looking around my desk and I see that I have some water there. So I'm going to call it drink game and I need to stop doing that drink game and we'll have the description and then where do i want this um project saved so i'll just i'll just save it in um this file here or this folder and then i can just say create repository now all this is doing is just setting up a local folder on our machine so you can see here we just have drink game and we have one item in it so it's just setting up a local folder so that all of our changes can go there now I could, uh, then I could say publish to repository. So what this is asking me is uh, where do I want to put all of my code? Well, I'm just using github.com. I don't have my own enterprise server. So I'm just going to have it go, oops, go into this repository. And then it asks me this question here. Do I want to keep my repository? Do I want to keep my code private or do I want to let everyone, um, have access to it? So in this particular instance, I'm going to say, keep it private. I'm just going to say publish repository and it's going to go through and you can see up here it's doing a whole bunch of things. It's going to go through and make sure everything's set up. So without going into further detail, we have uh, successfully made our first repository. So let's add a game or let's start adding a game to that. So in Game Maker Studio, I'm going to create a new Game Maker language one. And in Drink Game, what I like to do, this is the folder that uh, I told it to go into and then we also have one called drink game So this is anything underneath here that's going to be controlled by github or our repository So what I like doing is in this folder is I create a source folder and then within there I would have something like my drink game, which is game maker studio 
So I'm gonna load this up and that's it. I'm, that's all I'm gonna do. And I'll just make sure everything is saved and I'm gonna switch back to GitHub Desktop. So in the GitHub Desktop, I can see that there's 26 files that have been changed. So this is everything that Game Maker Studio has created and it wants to store on our code repository. So I could just say initial game creation and I can say commit and it's saying commit to master. I'm not gonna get into different branches here. If you're working as just a lone developer, this should be pretty much all you need. So I'm gonna say commit to master. So what this has done is all of my code changes here, they've been stored on my local machine. So any changes that I make to any of those files, it's gonna show up here. For instance, if I come over and I create a sprite and I edit the image and I draw a little stick figure or whatever, and I close this and bring up GitHub Desktop again, you can see that we have some information. We have the different layers here. I guess white was a little hard to see. But these are all the files that were created, which is these three here. Then we have two which are modified. So if I wanted to go in here, I would say added stickman. And I could also create or push to the master. I should say commit. So everything has been saved on my local local machine. If I want GitHub to hang on to it, I have to make sure that I push my commits to the origin remote. So that's just basically pushing it up GitHub and letting them hang on to everything. So if I push everything up to GitHub and I want to open my repository here, I should be able to see that, you know, sure enough, here is my code inside my source folder, inside drink game is all of the code for Game Maker Studio. And I can see back here that I have three commits. So the initial commit, which is setting up a repository, and then we have the initial game creation, and then we also have added stickman. So let's actually go back to um, GitHub, or sorry, let's go back to Game Maker Studio and make two changes. So in Game Maker Studio, I want to create an object, and I want to create um, an object, of, and we'll have a draw event, which is just draw self. So what I want to do is I want to take this and I want to commit this, uh, this particular object into GitHub. So let's load up the desktop, and we can see that we have our changes. So I'll just say add it, uh, dummy object. And I'm going to commit to master and at this point I don't really have to push because I know I'm going to make one more change so I can come back here and I can be like you know what I also want to add a step event and I could say x plus equals one okay and now I can go back to my desktop and in here I will, once again we have the different changes you can see that that's what I added so I'll just say uh, add it added movement okay and you can also throw in the description there but I'm not going to bother now we can push all of this code up to GitHub. So once again, they're going to back it up for us. It's safe, it's private. I don't have to worry about it. Now, what happens if my game doesn't run anymore? This is the beauty that comes in. So if my game doesn't run, but I knew that it ran before I saved it, I can always go back. So we have this little tab here called history. So I could, this is the same on the website. You can see here I added some movement and here I added the dummy object let's say my game doesn't work here but it worked here well right here i could just say revert this commit so what it's going to do is it's going to remove these two files for me now the one of the things that i probably would do is just close game maker studio if you're ever going to do this and i would say revert this commit and so github's going to revert everything for us so if i go to changes i don't have anything I have one waiting because I revert it back, but let's actually load up Game Maker Studio and make sure that the X position doesn't exist anymore in our code, which was in the step. All right, so we're back here. Let's load up our drink game here. And let's go into source, load up the drink game. And once it loads up, we should have all of our stuff here. And you can see that we no longer have that step event. So whatever code that made our game not work, well, we just reverted it. We took it out. Now what happens if I wanted to see something that was in there? Well, if I go back to GitHub Desktop, I know that I have that one push, which is reverting it. So let's actually go ahead and push it. And then once that goes up, we're going to um, open the repository in our browser again. So in here, then what we can do is we can see that w once again, we have all those commits. Now the reason I'm using the browser is because you may have you know thousands of commits once your game actually starts going. But if I wanted to see what was in that movement, I could say, you know what, what I want to do is browse the repository at this, this history. So I can come in here 
and then I can go through and I can find my object and the step event and I can see oh yeah hey that's what I added I know that works so let's add it back in so this is actually really cool and you could do the exact same thing if we switch over to github desktop by going through the history and then we could just check on that we could look at that commit so this was the revert and this is where we added movement oh I added it into the step event yeah I totally know what that is and it works so same kind of deal there this is just something that I believe everyone should get used to. Everyone should get uh, a little bit of a hold on and it really helps when backing up or creating changes in games because one day your game will work and then you'll add a bunch of stuff and then you'll come back the next day and everything's broken and you have no idea what's going on and you basically have to sit through hours of debugging or you know migraines or whatever you have but this will actually help quite a lot. Thank you for watching the video. I wanted to give a special shout out to Ashby, Victor, and Paul on Patreon, and another shout out to everyone who's watched this video. Once again, thank you very much.